the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video square root of a number with one zero as the lowest digit example 96120 in the example 96100 we demonstrated that it is a perfect square giving a square root 321 at the same time we also used the example 53600 with two zeros at the end which is not a perfect square therefore the concept that having a number with two zeros at the end may or may not be a perfect square is established however a number with a single zero at the end can never be a perfect square let us demonstrate this with the example 96120 let us group the numbers from the right side the first group is 20 the second group is 61 and the third group is 9 for uh, the purpose of calculation we can consider the groups in order as 9 61 and 20 let us set the number 96120 by leaving three columns in the right extreme of the abacus that is the lowest digit zero of the number should be set in the thousands column two in the 10000s column and the remaining numbers to the left of 2 uh, that is 1 to the left of 2 6 to the left of 1 uh, and 9 to the left of 6 uh, take the first group 9 and consider the perfect squares there 4 and 9 are the two perfect squares in 9 and therefore we have to take the highest among the two take the square root of 9 which is 3 by skipping a column to the left of 9 you set to 3 now 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 that should be subtracted from 9 which gives us the remainder 6000 120 in the next stage double the number 3 and set that 6 in the extreme left of the abacus now consider 6 of the 610 as 6 by 6 is 1 the second digit of the square root becomes 1 set 1 to the right of the first digit of the square root 3 and also to the right of 6 now 1 multiplied by 61 should be subtracted from 61 that means 6 is subtracted and 1 is subtracted and now the remaining value is 20 now let us double the existing square root which is 31 and 62 in the left extreme of the abacus the remainder 20 is not equal even to the quotient and therefore the divided value is 0 which is added to the square root and it will become 310 however we have the remainder 20 that indicates that 96120 is not a, a perfect square therefore the child should understand that a number with one zero at the end can never be a perfect square for example when we take 100 it gives a, a perfect square 10 because there are two zeros at the end at the same time 200 though we have two zeros at the end is not a perfect square on the other hand when you have 
one zero at the end it can never be a perfect square 10 is not a perfect square whereas 100 is a perfect square similarly you have a 10,000 is a perfect square because the square root is a hundred whereas 1000 is not a perfect square because it is uh, having zeros in odd numbers and at the same time this is a number with the four digits let us uh, discuss these classifications uh, going forward